Hey guys, long time no talk to. Rick Baker here. Just wanted to, uh, well, first apologize. Uh, so many guys of, of y'all have um, sent us messages just seeing how we're doing. I can't tell you how much that means to Jen and I um, to know we have friends everywhere and uh, people who, you know, want to make sure we're doing okay and we are. Um, I haven't done a vlog in a while. Been kind of, kind of busy. Um, lots going on, and I'm not going to be able to update you in, in just one vlog. But I wanted to get something out there. First of all, let me say thank you. Jen's almost got 8,000 subscribers, which we never ever. Been, we didn't start this channel with that in mind. Yeah, it's grown slowly. Um, I guess this is our second year of doing this. Yeah, we got 8,000 people who are pretty darn loyal and, and, and watch our stuff when it comes out. When it comes out, if it comes out. And we appreciate that. Channel doesn't make a lot of money, but we did, again, we didn't do it for that. It, uh, it's just to kind of help people, you know, with their journey of maybe going to the Philippines. Hopefully our vlogs have been helpful with that, with building a home, with digging a well, with lots of things that we've touched on. And now we're back in Texas, uh, as most of you know. Um, the number one question I've been asked, oh, it's a C-130. Very cool. Um, number one question I get asked uh, lately in comments is, is, is the house sold? And the answer is yes, the house is sold. And I want to do a separate vlog. Uh, I will go through all in detail the steps that are involved in selling a home in the Philippines. Um, it's almost kind of funny. I, every now and then I'll get a comment about, oh, you know, you're an idiot. You, you can't own a home there. You can't do this. You can't do that. And, well, yeah, you can. Um, you know, it's no secret that a foreigner can't own land in the Philippines. But uh, when it comes to building a home, that's community property. And um, so when you sell a home, the land transfers to another Filipina or Filipino and then the home can be sold um, as a part of that transaction. So I don't want to get into that. It's very, it's kind of detailed. Um, but shout out to Rose and Bill, uh, the couple that bought the home. I will tell you that uh, within three days of do it, of putting the vlog up about the selling the home, I, you know, I had had a couple from Ohio. Um, just you know they've been watching my vlogs they they felt comfortable you know doing something on the house without even actually having physically seen it because they're obviously not in the philippines but they um they made it very clear that they wanted it and they wanted the truck so uh, i had four or five other couples um, also very very interested uh, all of them wanted to see it or have a family member come and see it which i totally understand believe me and I've told them all the same thing. The difference was Bill and Rose didn't need to arrange to have that done. They just wanted to do the contract and put the earnest money down and move forward, which they did. So literally within a few days, uh, the home was, by all intents and purposes, was sold. The uh, earnest money was deposited, the contract was notarized, and then we started the process. So uh, they're there now, enjoying the pro hopefully enjoying the property. I haven't heard how they feel about it, but uh, they have mentioned that they love the truck and that the truck was perfect for the area, and it is. It's a perfect vehicle to have for where that home is. Um, and I hope they're enjoying it. I, I miss I miss that pool deck, but believe me, my coffee is just not the same without it. It just doesn't taste the same, if you know what I mean. Um, so hopefully Bill and, and Rose are, are enjoying that. They're, they're such a neat couple. I, I can't, you know, I've got their permission to talk about them uh, in this and show even a little clip when uh, one of the things I had to do was get, get the contract to sell notarized. Well, they are in Ohio and I'm in Texas and, and we were trying to beat uh, some, some time clock on paying, um, well, I, I'm forgetting the name of it, but there's something that, have to, that has to be paid within so many days of the signature of this. And then, of course, then it had to be shipped to the Philippines. Um, so I just, you know, we, I, we, we talked to each other on the phone. I said, hey, uh, why don't we just meet halfway? So I drove to Nashville. They drove to Nashville. We met up, stayed in the same hotel, had breakfast next morning, signed the contract. 
videoed it with them holding their passports and them actually physically signing it so that it could be notarized in the Philippines. And that's how the ball started. And, and I so enjoyed meeting, uh, meeting both of them. Such a neat couple. I think married in 1977. He was in the Navy, met her in Subic, and they've been married ever since. And I can't tell you uh, how, what special people they really are. I, I, I told Bill I could have a cup of coffee with you every day, and I'm in it. Uh, I really could. He and I could have all kinds of things to talk about. But I will do more in detail about how to do that. In case any of you have property, homes, whatever, uh, that you need to sell, uh, it is possible, it is doable and uh, there, there's very specific steps that have to be taken specific things that have to be paid within certain time frames and that type of thing so um, i'll kind of walk you through that maybe in a future vlog soon hopefully now that i've gotten back into doing this i had to, i couldn't even remember how to use my gopro <laughs> it had been a while what's going on with us just real quick synopsis you know genesis is in his 10th grade year at brook hill he's doing fine he did some cross country this year i don't know that he qualified for state. It's first year he's run, so but we will we'll know something about if his team qualify. He may get to go to state with his team, but don't know that yet. His academics, he's doing fine. He's he's having to work really hard, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. A lot of those learning gaps I told you that he had developed during the COVID lockdown in Philippines and being restricted from school for two and a half years, they've overcome most of those. So he's, he's getting, getting the hang of it. Um, I just got, uh, got out of an immobilizer. I had left rotator cuff surgery and I left bicep tendon surgery. Um, I'm supposed to th start therapy on Monday, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I've got limited use of my left arm right now, so I've been kind of struggling with that to some degree. Jen, <laughs> beautiful. My beautiful wife is now eight months pregnant. Uh, we went and did a 4D sonogram just the other day to see our little Ricky, uh, who's going to be born uh, anywhere probably between the 13th and the 28th of November. Yeah, so going to have another boy in the house. That being said, what am I doing here today? Well, let's spin this around. This is a home that uh, we are we're making an offer on. Uh, actually, we already did, and uh, it was accepted. So it's a two-year-old home here in Bullard, Texas, which is where Brook Hill, where Genesis goes to school. So um, that's good. We didn't have to move out of this area.
housing market man things have changed so much uh, since i left four four years ago things have just changed so much gosh i you know i went into a kentucky fried chicken Whew. i bought an eight piece bucket of kentucky fried chicken two two sides and four biscuits it's a family meal the chicken that by the way i used to kentucky fried used to have big pieces of chicken i used to brag on it because the kentucky fried chicken in the philippines the pieces are we well, you know a little the philippine chickens are little uh, and the pieces of chicken in the kentucky fried chicken are small as a result and so i used to brag in my family how big our chicken was here and i have been slapped in the face because it ain't anymore um i was i was embarrassed at how the eight pieces barely filled up half the bucket <laughs> 34 dollars that's eight pieces of chicken, two sides, and, and four biscuits. $34. And that's just, that's, you know, I know that's small scale, but <laughs> it's that way on everything. And houses are just nuts. This house right here that I, we are buying, <coughs> when I left, would have been a, probably a, a $200,000 home, maybe even a little under that. Um, interest rates were at, I, you know, I had, a, I had a home back then at, one and a quarter percent interest well those days are gone but uh, the cost of homes here have just they've doubled <clears throat> this home literally has doubled in in price i can't say doubled in value but it's doubled in price for sure but this is the best i could i could find uh, it's, it's a good size home 2,000 square feet it's got room for us to grow it's a really pretty home we we love the outside we love the inside we're excited about, um, I'm excited about getting out of a, a lease home. I don't like leasing. I feel like I'm throwing my money down the toilet. And leasing, gosh, $1,720 a month for a 1,400 square foot triplex. Yeah, anyway, it is what it is. And we are making it work. So just kind of wanted to, uh, you know reach out to you guys just let you know we are still alive everybody's still ticking everything's still moving forward uh got a baby coming genesis doing great um we're, we're happy about this transition hopefully to a new house so we won't close on this until december there's mrs baker you see she is pregnant <laughs> we finally got us a car got us a little toyota rav4 mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's we're having to fit <laughs> <laughs> two car seats and three full-grown people into a Toyota RAV4 but that's that's the, that's about what we could afford right now so and it's you know Toyota they're they're just good cars this one will last us a long time so um yeah just I, I didn't really do any more than that just kind of update you guys tell you the house did sell um and to know look for a vlog in the future on on how all that went came about and and the steps and so forth involved in it and just to say you know thank y'all for hanging in there with us uh, apologize there's been nothing new coming out um, I could have been doing some things but I just you know the surgery and the, you know I'm not gonna make excuses but <laughs> Ben I didn't talk about Ben oh my gosh little Ben well I'm sure Jen will put some clips in here of him but he's he's trying to walk uh, and uh he's just he's just been so much fun <laughs> he really is a lot of fun and such a beautiful kid i just i can't stop looking at him um never thought i'd be here 61 years old but i'm happy it was uh it's a good decision to bring a life into this world and i just hopefully the second chance i'm getting will be a you know have a good outcome <laughs> gosh i don't mean to do that mm. anyway we love having him uh he just he he brightens up everybody's day and makes uh, life so exciting and i'm sure little ricky will do the same and i can't help but think about my daughters that if they happen to see this video i pray to god that that they're okay and just know your dad misses you okay <laughs> We're the good 
the bad. The Philippines.